Hey guys, for sake of reality here. In this video, I'll be integrating our medical component into a UE5 project. So without further ado, we will get into that. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is migrate our medical component. I mean, I have it in 423 and I'm gonna migrate it up to 5.0. So you want to Head to your folder with your project. Put it in the content folder. And it'll copy over the files. Once that's that done, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is set up the animations. So there's a couple ways to do that in UE5. You can either come in here and we're going to do it through this method, but you could come in here and, and set up compatible skeletons on the UE4 and retarget from UE4 to UE5. Note if you do that, you'll have to replace the, the animations because it will create duplicates. New animations, you know, to replace the old ones basically. So we're going to come in here, characters, mannequin, meshes, and SK mannequin and we're just going to select our medical component skeleton and that's it for the animations now we're going to want to deal with the skeleton itself the sockets specifically so we'll come into the medical component you can select this and hide bones. Make sure you have show active sockets selected as well and you will get a list of just these four sockets. Hold control while you're clicking and you can select all those and copy selected. Control C. And we'll paste those on the root bone. Now we'll have access to the sockets right here. And now we can go through the NMBP setup. It's a pretty simple process, just setting up the upper and body low blend and making sure you have the slot default here and root motion for Montez is only set. So we'll just come into our Manny NMBP, whatever your NMBP may be. The first thing I'm gonna do is break that, bring it up here and make a saved pose and even the main states pose so now we have a cache of the main states and locomotion up here and now we have this this would normally be plugged in there because we just run everything like normal but we want these two upper, these two slots, and a layer blend for bone here specifically. I'll copy the comment as well. And we'll bring this down and copy and paste. So this will basically allow you to run the animations on upper body or lower body, and it'll blend it using the spine 01. And then we can just put this here. Plug it into default slot. So now the default animations will play normally and it will blend lower body and upper body animations. Using these as the main state pose cache. And that's it for the anim BP. And lastly, we'll want, just want to set up a character blueprint. So we'll open up a medical character. And we will open up our third person character, whatever your character may be. And we'll want to get 
the main functions here and then we'll grab the demo functions as well. This is basically a, sp a sprint test and camera toggle and interaction testing. So you can pick things up. If you have your own interaction system, you trigger this in within your interaction system. And you have your own sprinting, you'd want to enable and disable these booleans when you're pressed and released. So the medical component will know when you're sprinting. And this is a check right here to determine if you have fractured bones. And it will adjust your speed based off that. So just gonna copy all that. Paste that in order a little bit to the side. I wanna just if you already have your own speed variables, you can plug those in here. But this is just for demo purposes. You don't really need to set these, you only really need these two. And we notice we forgot to set up our medical components, so we can call that, and that'll automatically fill in those. File and save. There's our, if I have any fractured legs, it'll set the speed up and down. And if we don't, we just run our normal sprinting functions off of this. And we also have a jump check here, so we have any fractured legs. And we also want to, this is true, you also want to make sure this is false. So if you have any fractured bones, you can't jump. Make sure to plug it into false. I'm just going to remove this since I won't be using it, but if you have the touch input jump and you're using that, you could just plug this in there. That would work fine. There's all the jump inputs. There's the landing input for breaking legs and taking damage. If you have an on landed event already, you just add that to that simply. And here's the tab for opening and closing the inventory, the uh, medical component menu. And that should be everything, I believe. I will just gonna go to the medical component. Open up the map. And in role settings, you can set the medical component or whatever your game mode is, and we can just set your character. You didn't need you don't need to adjust this if you already have your character set. Seems to be an issue here. This won't be in the project when you have it. Just one issue that I seem to be ha having during this integration video. I think I forgot to adjust previously. So let's plug those in quickly, but you won't have to do that. So just ignore that. I'm just going to fix up redirectors and make sure that's all good. And now I can play. Right now it's tracing from a slightly incorrect position just because where the trace is set up the trace from and it will bandage up your arms and play all these animations. Toggle on and off the effects using this test UI over here. And as you can see, everything's working. And we'll just do a quick test with the Manny.
There we go. That'll be everything for this video. And if you have any suggestions for the system, feel free to leave them in the comments or join our Discord. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.